Okay, so let's just run this example uh, using the Python shell. Let's go to new file. This is what count controlled loop, right? So basically, the count is used as a test variable, the loop variable. So the count is equal to one, and then while the counter is, oops, counter right here. Counter, counter is less than or, or greater than five. And you have to have a colon and a print counter and then counter I'm going to increment counter by one all right let's just run this Counters, I said misspelled. Counter. Oh. Counter, right? So let's just run. Right, so one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So, I mean, there's. Uh, so this is like an example of the loop applications. You calculate the compound interest, and you calculate, let's say, simulations in event-driven programs. And a uh, typical example of the loop is like computing the sum, average, and etc. So this is like an example of uh, how to calculate the compound interest using the while loop. So initially you have ten thousand dollars right that's your balance and then your target goal is twenty thousand dollars when the interest rate is five percent so basically you'd like to know how long it will take to reach uh, this amount 20, your goal your target goal which is twenty thousand dollars so this is the code so your balance is right now is ten thousand dollars and your target is twenty thousand dollars and initially your year is a zero and the rate is five percent so this means while the balance is less than a target if this is a true then you increment year by one and you compute the interest and then the interest will be added to your balance right to your old balance and then you have, will have a new balance and go to this while loop and then test if the balance is less than still less than target if this is true then repeat this statement right this is the um, flow chart so diamond means a condition right if the balance is less than a target if that is the case then increment a year and then add interest to the balance and then um, go to this while statement so as long as it is true so you see the arrow so go to this while loop this will repeat until until balance is equal or greater than target then this becomes false right this becomes false and then um, we'll exit out of this uh, while loop so that's when the balance is greater than target, will that condition will terminate this while loop. So this uh, slide will show initially your balance is ten thousand dollars, but as like after fifteen iterations, so this is after fifty uh, fifteen iterations. You know, finally your balance is greater than twenty thousand dollars and the condition is no longer true and that's when this while loop is going to uh, terminate 
and this is the um, please download this double investment.py a Python code example and run this example and and observe the outputs right and change the uh, and change you know, some of the uh, variable names right and study this code okay and so instead of running this example in this lecture I'm going to use the uh, similar example okay so when balance is one so the difference is that um, I have a balance and target in here right the, the main difference is in the previous right in the previous example your balance is basically it's uh, incremented right your balance will be I mean the interest will be added to your balance right and then the interest is like annual interest is uh, let's say uh, in this case is five percent but in this case your balance is going to be doubled each each year so as you can see balance right the value of your balance is doubled every time when this loop is is executed okay so let's just um, run this example Target is eight. So initially, um, I have a one dollar, and my target price is eight dollars. And then in my initial year is a zero. And while the balance is less than target, the balance is doubles. And then I increment year by one. And then I like to see how so basically this is for testing I like to see how the value of uh, values of balance and year uh, change as the loop uh, as this loop proceeds so let's say balance first and then year so this is this print functions they're just for testing and then this print function is inside this while loop and then print so after this while loop is done uh, we'll just print the final values for balance and year so final values are balance and year So let's just uh, run this module. Say balance. Okay, so this is the uh, the final balance is I reached this um, my goal, and it took it'll take what. It'll take three years, right, to reach my goal, which is eight dollars. Okay, so let me end my lecture here.